Hello everyone and welcome to our final day from our six day practice. As you see today I have changed a little bit the location and gave you a new insight in uh, our place here. So let's continue and start with the practice. And start jumping. Uh, four minutes. Yeah, uh, shake off the tension. Relax the muscles. But still keep jumping, moving. Move everything about your body. Bring lightness inside the body. Yeah, no specific pattern. Change between all the small jumping techniques and jumping exercises we did this week. So for example, right now here go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just continue moving. Uh, 
Depends. And go. 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Shoulder. Rotate the shoulder, keep moving, keep jumping, one more minute, keep jumping, Okay, very good. So we started to activate the body. Now go through all the joints, starting from the fist, some uh, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, small finger, close. Yeah. Do it one after another. If you cannot do it slow, uh, fast, then you do it slow. So start slow first. Important is you don't do everything at the same time. It's another exercise, but it's not the exercise right now So place attention to each finger and go uh, 36 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. Afterwards, start clench the fists and start rotate inwards. Now go 18 times to the inside and 18 times outside afterwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we come to the elbows. Lift the elbows up, shoulders. Stay down as much as you can and 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Other direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Shoulder. Rotate backwards 18 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Swing the arms a bit. Hands you can leave open. Yeah, always switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now spine rotation to the left side, to the right side. Let's make eighteen. Yeah, head, eyes, go first. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That was spine rotation. We continue spine rotation. But now it starts to look a little bit different. Look, yeah. stands a little bit more wide. Feet stand to the front. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so as you saw right now, we already started to even integrate different stances, different postures. A wider stance, a wider movement uh, into our just opening exercises. So right now, continue spine bending to the front, stretching upwards. And once again, if you go up, your intention, bring it. Up is up and down is down. And eighteen times and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Turn jumping. Yeah, continue jumping, moving. Uh, softness. 
softness on the one side strength on the same side yeah, softness hardness no it's the same okay now upper torso we moved already now starting with hip pelvis area hip rotation and 18 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight other direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one two three four five six seven and eight okay jump next area we take our knees feet together palms i think until now maybe you don't need so much support anymore so just touch slightly but don't push yourself off the leg yeah so from here leg straight both of the kneecaps are loose then squat one yeah don't touch uh, loose kneecaps are loose two up three up four up five six seven eight nine and nine more a little bit quicker one two three four five six seven eight and nine and rotate give your kneecaps a small massage yeah. go 18 times one direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight other direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight okay good next ah, the ankles ankles weight shifted on the left leg left leg standing on the ground right leg lift up and rotate yeah to practice the synchronicity you see you can also use the ankle at the same time at the same speed so that means you're already starting to concentrate to bring things into alignment bring things into harmony yeah let's go 18 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight uh, leg down the weight on the right leg left leg up uh, and same one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight yeah. and go 18 times other direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight 
right leg again outside and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight okay so we went through all of our joints that are very easy to uh, to access which means finger joints first then comes the wrist elbow shoulder neck spine torsion bending to the front leaning to the back hip area yeah knees ankles okay and now we start with our strengthening exercises watching and paying attention to our structure so let's take mabu one two three and a slight four then from here inhale Inhale, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, eight. So, Mabu now opening the hips a little bit more by swinging our knee, swinging our leg from the inside outwards. Yeah? Try to reduce any unnecessary tension that you are feeling inside of yourself. And it doesn't work always, but in the most of the cases, you simply can use your breath work to help your body and also to help your mind to release something yeah? if you feel there's too much tension actively use the mind and use the breath during the exhalation to help with the process of releasing okay we take the right hip from here huh? and start Lift up and open backwards. Then left side. One. Switch. Two. Switch. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, 
ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rotate, feel for yourself if it got a little bit more loose or not. Other direction. Okay, next exercise. Transition from Mabu to Gongbu and we go very very slow together and try to remember again that you try not to move any foot as long as there is some weight on it. So before you start to move any foot you need to take the weight off that leg. Sink, open, wow. This one, push. Back. Shift the weight. Turn the leg. Push. Seven and back eight and back 
and nine. Stand up. Okay. Shake off the legs. And loosen up pelvis area, hip area, a little bit more, nine times right leg, nine times left leg. Turning inside, outwards. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. Okay, now we are using Gongbu and stretch our size and the front side of our hip even more. Right foot. Right foot around shoulder, hip wide, go back, back, heel up, heel is up, hip front side here, it's the front side, okay, arms out, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then same, switch to the other side. So, right leg, front, left leg words. Okay, yeah, keep power in the legs, arms straight, yeah. stretch the side, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you start to feel our hip area on the one side, you feel it's getting more loose. But on the other side, you can also feel there, it seems like it starts to fill up. It fills up because the hip starts to open more. Yes. Okay. Now, Mabu again. And we are moving downwards in the Mawu while I'm counting. I'm starting with counting to three, then we will count to six, and then I will continue moving up. Try to maintain your body structure and not collapse any area of your body. And that means try to keep your spine and your back as straight as you can and try 
to maintain this position whether you go up or down it doesn't matter Ready? Out. Ah. You can, for this exercise, lift the heels slightly. If you can, leave it on the ground. Elsewise, just try. From here. Let's run. Three. Again, three. One. Two, three, and one, two, three, one more time, three, one, two, three, and one, two, Three. Okay, shake off the legs a moment. Now we continue counting until six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three. Six and this direction two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Shake off the legs. Legs are starting to become. Heavy, dense, filled, strong. And this exercise. One more time. Now. Three times. Breathing. Fill up the chest. One. Four. Three. And hand to the front. And go. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. Stay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one time breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and upwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Up. Okay. 
exercises that are very heavy on the legs that's why right now bring a little bit lightness inside jump okay enough jumping now open the hip more rotate inside out one two three four five six nine ten one two three four five six seven and eight okay feet uh, shoulder wide and squat push While standing up, inhale, fill up the body. Great. Other direction. And one more time, we go down and bam, drop. Now, left foot. Now, just turn out. Yeah, so, left leg. So, then. Straight, up, up. straighten out, touch, or oh, you can lean on the ground, yeah, the right heel, this one, try to keep it down, it needs practice, you need to become more flexible, yeah, in the beginning can happen, you are like this, but it just needs practice, so, then from here, yeah, this is the one side yeah. so once you're inside this position then with the body start to move to the front feel the stretch of the leg and as I mentioned yesterday this one don't collapse all the way down keep some power inside the legs okay and nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then from here, if you shift to the other side, we can place the foot down. You stand up into Mabu, then shift the weight, turn the heel up, and sink again down. Yeah, from here. Then sink down heel, keep it on the floor. Body come to the front yeah, and don't collapse your joints, don't collapse down into the posture. Keep the power, keep the power and nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay. Lose the hip a bit. So, Pubu. It's a difficult stance. You are going to become a flexible interval to go into that posture. Now we can even start by then when the structure is correct. Afterwards, we can now start to increase 
the efficiency of this posture by using breathing methods for example to nourish that posture and then the exercise will look like this go in a wide marble already yeah? the marble about that width like you later on would be in the pubu then from here you inhale and exhale inhale and exhale in out in and out in and out in out in and out in and out in and out in and out one two one and two one and two inhale and exhale So, you see that each posture that we were practicing this week, the horse stance, the arrow stance, the crouching stance, mabu gongbu or pubu, you can use those stances but still practice different, uh, different aspects of that stance. First of all, you need to pay attention that the structure of your stance, of your posture is correct. And how do you know that it is the right structure? It is that structure that makes it possible to nourish that structure by something, to nourish it by your breath it is that structure that makes it possible that even so you are in a static position looking from the outside at least but on your inside it still remains open it sounds very confusing but it is exactly how I meant it now look for example once or when I say to open the chest or open the upper torso if I would open the upper torso like this it's not open I used a wide range of movement I'd stretch open my chest but it's still not open 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 upper torso is around huh? This is no, this is no, now it's open. Now the upper torso is open. The same goes for almost each part of your body. So if you make the, the gongbu, let's say, this one is closed 
this is not correct. Yeah. Uh, this is also not very correct. Now the body is open. Now it's not open. So, yes, we still have 10 minutes to go. So, continue. Now, the marble with a little bit more intensity. And also, we are including now arm movement like this. Mabu position. Inhale and close. In and close. In and close. In and close. In. And close in and close in and close in and close in and down. Inhale and exhale. Close the body. Uh, you close the body. Uh, you tense the body and you bring everything into the center. You lock. You lock yourself for a moment. So what you are doing is on the inhalation, the body is very, very open. Because it's open, you can receive. And after it is open, now we need to practice to not only receive, now we only uh, also need to use what we receive. So you shoot, you lock it, you lock it into the center. So again, this exercise, yeah, big movement, opening, and then close. And Tense up the body, use the stance, you have tension throughout your whole body. Legs, upper torso, arms, mind, also focus. From here, inhale and go. One and go. In. And close. Zip. In. And close. Zip. In. And close. Zip. In. And close. Zip. One. Down. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Relax, relax the body a little bit. Okay. So, now, before we are having a short break and afterwards continue with some uh, question and answers, you saw or you see right now 
we are at a bigger training place and the last five days before we were back there at the small training place so the more we open up ourselves the more we get used to all the different types of training to open ourselves up the more space we can start to embrace so all the five days training and also this one until right now mainly you don't even need a lot of space to do all the exercises yeah you need two meters times two meters that's square that is enough to do the exercises from this week so it's the perfect exercise uh, however and how long this lockdown uh, continues we always have something that we can practice but once you have the possibility to go out and use more space then you can use all of the exercises that we did this week and start to make them bigger to make them more dynamic to add more details to add more color to it now let's take for example only the mabu and the last exercise that we just did how can you practice it watch Okay, so that means you can also include walking with the exercises. Good. Now we have exactly 10 a.m. in Germany. I would say let's have a short five minute break and there should be one user somewhere you can search him in the chat his name is question and answers just drop all the questions that you have right now or that you would like to be answered just write it to question and answer and see you in a few minutes again So welcome back everyone, um, yes let's see what type of questions you are having, I hope you have regenerated a little bit in your break. Now in the morning my suggestion is you wake up from the bed and before you even start to brush your teeth, before you even go to toilet or before you even start to make your coffee it feels quite good after some time if every morning you just start to drink 
two cups of lukewarm water so just try it out maybe that is already something that you can integrate before your practices or just every day because our body needs water so yeah q and a has received all of your questions but he doesn't want to give me answers right now so i will need to read all of this at the moment i will just take my first question mm. so uh, many of you are writing that when you are doing the mabu or also when you're doing the pubu that the heels start to come off the ground and if it is still okay to continue practice like this and the answer to that is I can only share with you the exercises and the methods that I am using here that we are using here inside the monastery and after some time of practice you should be able to feel the difference that this practice is giving you so after five days after this week yeah, in total it was six days of training you don't need to ask me anymore for what is this training good if you have joined the six days your body is different your body feels different maybe you even realize already how all of this structure all of these exercises all of the opening of the body how it also affects the way how maybe emotionally you are functioning or how your mind is working so therefore do all the exercises as good as you can yeah you can always watch how it looks in the recordings but you try as good as you can and if that means that you can only do it at the moment with the heels up then no problem then continue practicing until one day you are able also to gain more flexibility and be able to do it with the feet touching uh, the ground fully now one reason why it's good to being more planted to the ground is because your connection to the earth becomes bigger if the connection to the earth becomes bigger it's possible to build up stronger roots standing more stable yes so therefore the aim is definitely try to keep the feet down if they are supposed to be down but until then just practice as good as you can okay how should you continue after those six days because some people already getting sad that tomorrow Sunday there is no training well be happy that there is no training because if you would be here in the monastery the Sunday is your best day because it's the day that in a way you can uh, you can spend for yourself because our disciples and everybody who's living here we have more training than just one hour per day and so on a Sunday there can happen nothing better than just to rest a little bit but if you still don't have enough of all of these things therefore I recorded all of the sessions which already right now you find them all to view again on the YouTube channel and at the same time but that might take some while until everything is uploaded I will also have all the six days um, as a downloadable content directly from 
my website you only need to register and then afterwards you just download it and you can play it anytime even if you don't have an internet connection and the reason behind that is that for the moment there is no real sense for me to share anything more you have six days now on videotape you can just every day like you did it this week choose any of the six videos and just do it just plan it into your daily structure we don't need at the moment new exercises everything we did this week is basic training it's foundation training it is the starting point to learn more about yourself to learn more about your body to learn more about your structure to understand better that it's important to have structure it is important to have body awareness it's important the way how you breathe it is also important what it means to be open but we cannot be open all day long sometimes if things need to be done energy needs to manifest it needs to lock and so it's the idea you need to learn what is open to know what is closing you need to learn what is structure in order to learn what is freedom and so all those six days that's all I can give you for this moment yeah anyway on the website everywhere on the internet there is already so many different types of information so now as a side note I realize that many people that are following for example this training or are following our channel from the Shaolin Temple Europe uh, many of you are also martial art practitioners and you're asking all the time and how can I use all of the breathing techniques and the Qigong into my martial training the focus of my work at the moment is to bring the idea to bring the content of what the Shaolin temple offers to a wider range of people I do not only want to share all of this knowledge with a small group of people that have a lot of potential and that can get to the essence I want to share it at the moment to a wider range of people but if you are a dedicated practitioner if you want to go deep and more deep inside all of the internal arts that are existing if you search for the right people you're gonna find them and there are many great masters out there right now at this moment that you would not even believe that they are there if you want to know if you want to start and bring your training into different levels you can also feel free contact me and I might give you some hints where to look for okay so let's see next question yeah at the moment this is all based online so unfortunately our monastery is located no it's not unfortunate it's very glad I'm very happy that I'm here in Germany but it's unfortunate that we are running into lockdown number three at the moment which means that our monastery has been closed since November last year which on the one side means we cannot welcome any new guests at the moment because it's forbidden but at the same time it means that all the disciples that are in this monastery right now they just receive more intensive training and they are developing really really good which makes me really happy 
now once the lockdown is being removed again feel free always to check out the website of the monastery and there you will find all the recent dates and events that are taking place um, I'm already in contact with a few masters here in Europe and let's see I'm sure that this was not the last course or not the last training that we had together but for right now I really can only encourage you continue use the six recordings and just keep continuously practicing yeah. Okay, let's see, next question. Ah. How can you combine these exercises into your routine, whatever that routine at the moment is, that you are already having? Every routine and every practice that you are going through needs to serve a purpose so before the six days training was starting you already did your work you already did your routine so why are you keeping or why were you doing your routine so what was the benefit of the routine that you were following before most probably everything that we're doing in this lifetime at the end of the day it's all about feelings the way how you feel so with your current routine how do you feel afterwards and now after the six days with this type of training how do you feel so you have two different types of feelings probably and it's up to you you decide you want to energize yourself you want to be more awake you need a different type of practice you want to calm down more you want to become more aware you want to go more on the mental side you want to practice more and be more aware even going through the day the practice might look different so this is you need to try out the different routines first try them out and experience for yourself what effect they are bringing to you and afterwards you decide because it's your life what you want to feel what you want to create and in what state of the mind and state of being you want to go uh, through this lifetime what book am i supposed to read in order to deepen my understanding and to deepen my practice uh, i'm not sure where it was but somewhere in one video i mentioned that i actually grew up reading almost no books so i have to admit i am not a reader at all so I have a few books that I was reading in my lifetime but most of the times I was just not the person sitting at home and reading books if I had to study something well then I did it but besides that I um, I chose more 
to spend time on the outside and do some stuff so many things that I'm telling you right now is not because I read them somewhere it's because I tried out what has been told me I tried out what my teachers told me and I always tried to remain open on the one side but to also question myself over and over again um, if there's any benefit if there is a real purpose behind the practices that that I do and there is a saying which is that learning by doing most probably doesn't belong to the wisest ways but it belongs to one way of learning learning by your own experience it can be a very hard way so this is now the point where it's very very beneficial if you have that luck or if you have that karma to meet a good teacher or to meet a good master in this lifetime because then it saves you a lot of time to try out the things for yourself if you find a really good teacher that it's trustworthy and that you are trusting that is the best thing that can happen to you because then in a way you follow this master uh, you take him as a guide and in this way you can save a lot of wasted energy yes. should I do these exercises from the last six days before doing Qigong there was a lot of Qigong inside of these practices and there's a really nice saying that I remember my master was <laughs> was telling to someone in our Kung Fu training on one day he was watching him performing some Tao Lu, some form and because that student he made many years he practice a different type of martial art and so after demonstrating this form he asked the master so what do you think about my form well and the master said um, actually this form is a kung fu form but the way how you do it it's a karate form So maybe you get the point, maybe you don't get the point. Everything that we did in the six days, you can do it and it would even belong to the area of Qigong practice. Or at the same time, you can also do the complete six days with a different mindset and it doesn't really have to do so much then with the practice of Qigong because once again think back about what does Qigong mean what are the three pillars of Qigong and it's the breathing it's the movement and at the same time it's the using and the conscious usage of your intention And yes you were correct that the six the six days 
uh, we focus a lot on the lower body and we didn't do so much for the upper torso so easiest way and overall very good way is to practice push-ups just start to do more push-ups yeah? for example let me give you a short overview yes. Here. And yes, at the same time, you can use the fist. Yeah. So, very basic. First of all, you just do it on the palm of your hand. You can also do it on the ground. But this way right now was more easy. And afterwards, you can also do it on the fists. Yeah. Integrate this. Start on the first day. 10 push-ups. Second day, maybe 15. Third day, 20. And then increase. At the same time, always when you are starting to do something in order to strengthen the body also find the right balance and lose the body lose yourself up afterwards so you see when we do a lot of the mabu stances then afterwards we are also rotating the hip again shaking our legs again so also find the right balance between doing exercises to strengthen the body and on the other side to open the body because openness on the one side no it's not on the one side openness and strength they are on the same side So, some details maybe. Um, ah no, the Mabu I explained quite a lot in the last six days. So, it's about standing in the Mabu, which is a strong posture, but at the same time, stay open. At the same time, allow that the body in the mabu is still able to nourish itself and in order to do so the posture the alignment and the way how your skeleton is merged together plays a very very important role and that also means that how should i align my pelvis how should i align all of this uh, take a book <laughs> take a book and look how the skeleton is made out made up and then ask yourself and how do I need to align right now my pelvis in order to allow that my body can still continue to nourish myself So, I am not located in Germany, so you cannot come and visit this monastery. Where can I find 
a good teacher in my country. I would start to search on Google what is available there and now also something very important. At this moment I am one of the representatives of this monastery. I am the representative of the Shaolin Temple Europe. But everything that I was trying to share with you this week. So is the Mabu, is that from Shaolin? Is the Gongbu, is it something from Shaolin? The Pubu, is it something from Shaolin? Well, I think it is something that it's from all of us because it is just the way how we are using our body the complete six days i didn't even talk i didn't even showed you anything about fighting because the complete purpose of the last six days had zero to do with fighting if you want to learn how to fight I am the wrong teacher for you. This monastery is the wrong place for you. It's not because I consider fighting as something wrong. It's just because I have decided for this monastery that we can bring in this lifetime right now more benefit to a wider range of people if we do not only focus on the fighting aspects of those arts but nevertheless let's assume that your interest is really about the ancient art of fighting and all the methods the deep methods that are involved in these in these arts then once again listen carefully there are already very very great masters out there right now if you're dedicated you're gonna find them if you are the right person and that teacher will accept you this is the best thing that can happen to you in your development of a complete martial art development So, yes, everything, there's nothing related only to, uh, no, let's start it differently. I want you to be healthy. I want you to live a good life. I want you to embrace this life. I want you to have less conflicts in this world. I want you to contribute less to all the things that are happening which are harming this world. I want you to engage more in activities that bring benefit to a wider range of people. This is the purpose of everything. And in order to do so, you need to learn about yourself. If the body, your body does not listen to you, well, then it won't listen to anyone. If your body belongs to someone, it should belong to you. So that means if you give your body a command, your body should be able to deliver. This is why the first step of gaining any type of control of your life, any type of power of this life is about gaining control about yourself. Gaining control about your body, gaining control about the mind, gaining control about your energies and then 
opening more up and just gain control about yourself and your surroundings. What do you think about next session, Shifu? Now I just said in the beginning, you're gonna have the recordings, you can download them afterwards also, and for the moment, just keep practicing. Just keep repeating. Repetition, continuity, dedication, this is the key. Not jumping around and just doing what it feels like. It's the wrong path. Yeah? Just following what it feels like. No, it's the wrong path. No. Stay disciplined. Stay focused. Bring structure inside of yourself. Bring structure inside of the life. Walk this path for a while. And out of that freedom will emerge so don't look to me don't wait for some input to come from me i am not your teacher you are your teacher i just share some methods that were helping me until now in this lifetime for some of you they won't work for some of you they are too weak for some of you they are too strong i'm nobody's teacher Teach yourself. Okay. Now, maybe I will pick up one more final question. And afterwards, um, we are going to see each other again. But not so soon. So... Okay, simple but still uh, worthy question. Should I use some weights while doing all these types of exercises? Can I use some weights? Yes, you can, but it's not necessary. Now, once again, I remind you the six days, the way how we were training together this week. What was the benefit of all of this? That there's nothing else that you need except for yourself and the two times two meters square around you you don't even need any clothes you don't even need any weight theoretically this is the great part about this type of practices you can still maintain a quite good level of vitality and of strength and of flexibility but without the usage or without the necessity of using any additional um, utilities but if you feel like that okay uh, I can do it without but I can also do it with the weights then feel free to do so but don't hurt yourself start slowly until the body has started adapting to the additional weight all right then very very happy that so many have continuously joined the six days and spend now the time with your beloved ones all the energy all the vitality all the strength all the stability all the peace that you maybe have created and cultivated in this week all the energy that you have cultivated in this week 
all the energy that you are saying that I am transmitting to you okay if you have this energy if you feel this energy then express this energy to the people also around you so they know what you mean don't only have the energy of peace don't only have the energy of any type of strength express this strength express the balance and express whatever you feel is worthwhile to have in this lifetime you need to express the energy this is the contribution of your energy to the spirit yeah so therefore keep up the Shaolin spirit because this is what it's all about contribute to what you think is helpful for this world in this sense see you one day again Ami Tofok